Okay, I recently reconfigured my workbench here. Um, this extrusion uh, used to be tucked back here flush with the edge and this one as well. So, uh, but if I wanted to pull them out or slide them out to create a 90 here, I could. Um, and the other thing I could do now that I moved them out one, one uh, slot over is that it gives me a, a ledge here and then I made this little jig here to allow me to do uh, work on box sides at 90 degrees and clamp them in place. So the, the vertical piece is obviously clamped here. The horizontal piece, I would use my table clamp like that. Uh, but the problem is, I, it's uh, with this knob, it, it, it's interfered with by this extrusion. So this is that hole up on top that I was showing you before. And you can see when I put this in there, that I've got, clear, I've got just enough clearance from my, my beam here, but it interferes with this, this edge interferes. So I've got to drop it down to get it away from that extrusion. Let me show you from this angle. So here's the extrusion. I've got to drop that knob down about right there. So I need to extend this bolt and I wasn't aware of this until I just kind of took a good look at this knob, but you can open them up. Pop the cover and you can change out your bolts. And then you snap your lid back on. So I went, I went from that to this. Now the difference that I need to make up is uh, that much from the, the end of the original bolt to the base. So I made a mark on a big dowel that I have. I'm going to cut a spacer. So here's my small parts sled with a recently made a sliding uh, stop there on the one end so I can cut identical parts and I'm going to cut off two of these uh, maybe I probably actually might do this safer than the first one. So all I did was just put a block out here, scrap piece, and that acted like a step clamp basically. I could squeeze it and hold it tight. So there's my four pieces. Let me drill some center holes. We'll come back. Okay the outside diameter of my dowel here is about inch and an eighth so I drilled a little countersunk inch and an eighth hole here. Changed out to a 5 16 bit which is um, about as close as I can come to 8 millimeter. I'm just going to hold it with my channel lock here. Pretty good. 
So I'll do that uh, to the other ones. And then we'll see how it works on, on the table. So before, you see how it wants to ride up, lift the piece off the table. Now, when I'm able to clamp it in place, and I'll show you how this gets me back on center here. So without the spacer or extension, you can see how that bolt just, it gets cocked to the one side, it's not straight up and down. So with the extended bolt and my spacer, I'm now able to get that flat and dead center. Now it's good and snug. You'll see how this workpiece stays nice and flat to the table. I can really snug it up. And that is not going to move. So now I can do any kind of edge work I want to do here. You know, if I like uh, a lot of my drawers, I like to make with just uh, the dowel reinforced sides here. And um, this allows me to do that in one step. I can flush this up. Lamp it in place and go to work. So from this to adding a longer bolt and a spacer that allows me to uh, access and use my tabletop much more efficiently. Thanks for watching.